Section 2.4.14, the following newspaper type graphic illustrates the ideal family size total children based on a survey of adults from a certain country. We're going to complete parts A through C below. Here we have ideal family size total children. We have 55% 0 to 2, 39% 3 or more, 6% don't know. Now what type of graphic is being displayed? Well, when we carefully examine the shape of the graphic, as well as the data it displays, the graphic is displaying quantitative data with roughly rectangular shapes. Thus, the graphic is a bar chart. For part B, it says describe any problems with the graphic. Now, when reading an illustrated bar graph, the reader needs to compare the vertical scales of each bar to see if they accurately depict the data. Notice that it is impossible to tell where the bars end. They could end at the end of the milk or the top of the nipple or where the nipple is attached to the bottle. Notice that there is no baby bottle for the people that responded that they didn't know. However, even though the don't know category does not have a baby bottle bar, all three percentages are displayed in the graphic, so the categories are still comparable numerically. Notice that the categories are not the same size. The category 0 to 2 contains responses of 0, 1, and 2, but the category 3 or more contains responses of 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, and so on. However, this does not mean that the data are being misrepresented. It would be impossible to quantify a width for the don't know category, so dividing up the other two categories as 0 to 2 or 3 to more does not necessarily misrepresent the data especially since the higher possible values in three or more are unlikely to get a very high response. In fact, the goal of this survey may have been to compare those two exact categories, rather than to compare the number of people that responded zero to the number of people that responded one, then to the number of people that responded two, and so on. These data would not have been better displayed in a stem and leaf plot or an ogive. The original data are quantitative, but have been summarized in the categories qualitative, making a bar chart appropriate. Stem and leaf plots and ogives are used to display quantitative data. So we're going to use these conclusions to describe any of the problems with the graphic. Now part C, we want to construct a graphic that is not misleading that makes the data stand out. Now a bar graph is constructed by labeling each category of data on either the horizontal or vertical axis and the frequency or relative frequency of the category on the other axis. Rectangles of equal length are drawn for each category and the height of each rectangle represents the category's frequency or relative frequency. So we draw bars in the new graph comparing it to this graph. The height of the 0 to 2 will be 55 percent. The height of the 3 or more is 39 percent and the height of the don't know bar will be 6%. So this is an example of the correct bar that is shown.